She, a goddess with the power to choose death for others, is going to prison, almost certainly for the rest of her very human days. And that's all for this edition of Dateline. We'll see you again Sunday at 7, 6 central. And of course, I'll see you each weeknight for NBC Nightly News. I'm Lester Holt for all of us at NBC News. Good night. NBC4 News at 11 starts with breaking news. And with that, the Lakers are back in the Western Conference Finals after a dominating win over the defending champs, the Golden State Warriors. Happy Friday, everyone. I'm Colleen Williams. Fans have been celebrating on the street outside Crypto dot com arena all night live and all night long actually and join us inside the marina the arena mario solis and mario not much doubt about the result after the uh, after halftime tonight Oh, not at all. This one was in the bag pretty early. And let's think back a little bit, Colleen. Wasn't too long ago, Laker fans were panicking, wondering if the Lakers would even make it to the playing game. Now that same team is headed to the Western Conference Finals. What a night here at the Crip. LeBron and company just ended the Warriors dynasty, closing out the series in six games. Lakers with an incredible first half, capped off by this half-court buzzer beater by Austin Reeves to end the second quarter. That gives the Lakers a 10-point lead, sending the crypt into a frenzy. Third quarter now, the Lake Show comes out aggressive. LeBron strong to the hoop. He gets the basket. Lakers back up by 17. Steve Kerr knows his team is in trouble. Then it's Lonnie Walker. He starts hitting some bombs. The Buddha finishing with 13 and giving the Lakers a huge lead. The fourth quarter, basically just a celebration. Lakers never in trouble. LeBron having a great time. Lakers blow out the Warriors 122-110 to 110 to uh, win the series by uh, two, four to two, I should say. They are now headed to the Western Conference Finals. I'm so happy for the entire organization to be able to sit here and be in this position. Have, you know, a, a challenging year to say the least, but at the end of the day, we kept powering through. Our vibes stay positive. Um, and, you know, once we righted the ship and uh, switched out some pieces, it came together and. Um, I'm just happy and thankful that I get to sit in this seat and enjoy the ride. Yeah, we still have a lot more reaction coming up with a very happy locker room from the Lakers. We're going to hear from LeBron and company in just a few minutes. So we'll see you then, Colleen. And now I know why you didn't want to take that challenge. If you say so, Mario, I agree with you. <laughs> All right. Fans got quite a show inside the crib tonight and outside. They were just as excited. Excited that the Lakers closed the deal at home tonight and excited that the Lakers are moving on in the Western Conference Finals. We are the champions now. Like na, 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 na. Hey, goodbye. What an amazing game. I don't see a sad person out there tonight. Here's what it looks like live over the arena. As some of the fans you can see, if you look very closely, they are still out there celebrating the series win. Although some of them might be celebrating somewhere else right now because there are only just a few of them out there. Western Conference Finals start on Tuesday in Denver. Mario will have more in just about 10 or 15 minutes coming up in sports. Now looking live from over the San Fernando Valley. Perfect night for a Laker win. Our meteorologist Melissa McGee is here now with a check of the first alert forecast. Melissa. And Colleen, we were all excited for the Lakers in that win tonight. And as we go throughout the rest.